All right, now that we've got the variables for our requests figured out, let's go ahead and start building the request. To start doing that, we need to open up our terminal and we need to install request and we'll save that. All right, now request is saved. Let's come back to Sublime and come to our app and we need to require request in order to use it. All right, now that we've got a request figured out, let's go ahead and let's jump to the CloudScrape API documentation so we can kind of see our endpoints that we're going to use. So the first endpoint we're going to use is just this app.cloudscrape.com forward slash API. And then whatever kind of information you want from your CloudScrape account determines on which one of these methods or runs you use that, that has executions and runs. We're going to want to use the get results because we're going to want to get the results of an execution. So that means our route is then actually going to be forward slash API forward slash executions. Then we're going to put this execution ID in and we'll get the specific data from that execution. So let's go ahead and start building our request. So our request is going to take an object. And inside the object, we're going to say URI. And this is going to be, what we're going to do is we're going to, going to come to CloudScrape. We're going to grab that first value here, our first endpoint. We're going to copy. Then we are going to paste it. And then now we want to get that get results. So this is now we need to grab this executions. And we'll grab this value. Copy it. Paste it. And now we need to actually go get the execution ID that we want to use. Come back here. We're going to come back to our execution. And this is the results of the execution. If you come to the information, this is the ID that will tell it which one to grab our data from. So let's copy it. Come in here and paste it. Perfect. So that is the route that we want to hit. Now we need to add the method, which is going to be git. And then we also need to add header values. So headers. And that's going to be an object. So I've got this copied over here. I'm just going to copy paste it. And we can explain it. So the headers that CloudScrape wants is the access key, which is this hash key we have here. Then it also wants your account, or account ID, which actually we have a variable. So let's go ahead and remove this and say a account ID and that's all the headers that it's going to take now what we need to do is pass it a function to fire off when we get results and we're going to pass it our error value and our response value so the first thing we are going to do is check if there's an error so a little bit of error handling so we're going to say if no error run this file and we are going to We'll say variable results equals response. Let's see, response, and then we want to get the body of that, so dot body. And because that's going to be JSON, we want to make sure we parse it first. So we're going to say JSON dot parse. Sorry, that is my washer json.parse body and let's go ahead and console log the results we'll say success here is your data and then we're also going to log the results let's save this and make sure we're in the right directory and we're going to start and now when we go to the url get fighter list we should Perfect. So this is all the data from our um, CloudScrape run that we just got. So we've, as you can see, we've got far, fighter name, all this information. Now the next step that we're going to do in the next video is we're going to send this information to the client and then start building our Angular app. See you next time.